All right, everyone, so we have a three-part stoichiometry problem here where we're all going to be using this chemical equation here. So part A says, if you have 66.6 .6 grams of NH3, how many grams of F2 are required for a complete reaction? So in part A, we got 66.6 .6 grams of NH3. So let's write that under NH3, 66.6 .6 grams. And we are looking for grams of F2, which will react completely with that. So we are looking for, okay, how much F2 do we also need to react completely with this 66.6 .6 grams? So we're going to do our stoichiometry problem, starting with what we know, which is 66.6 .6 grams of NH3. We're going to take that and we're going to calculate, okay, how much F2 do we need to react with it? So we're going to be multiplying by three conversion factors, three fractions, in order to calculate the mass in grams of F2 that we need. So we need to fill out these three conversion factors. We are starting with the units of grams for NH3. So we want to get rid of grams of NH3. So it's going to go on the bottom of our first conversion factor. And we can convert grams to moles of NH3. So to do that, we need the molar mass of NH3. So over here, let's calculate the molar mass of NH3. And to do that, we're going to multiply 1 times the molar mass of nitrogen, which, judging by the periodic table, is 14.01. So 14.01, and the units on that are grams per mole. So one of those plus three hydrogens, because it's NH3. So three times the mass of hydrogen, which on the periodic table should be around 1.01. .01, and that is, again, grams per mole. So if we do the math there, we should end up with a molar mass of NH3 being about 17.04 grams per mole. And that is the molar mass that we are using in our first conversion factor. So we are going to have the 17.04 grams on the bottom and one mole on top. And while we're doing that is so grams of NH3 cancel and we have our first step so now on to the second step where we are currently at moles of NH3 so moles of NH3 will go on the bottom and we can turn that into moles of what we're looking for which is F2 and for the second step we're using our mole ratios or our coefficients so in front of NH3 we have a coefficient of 2 and in front of F2, we have a coefficient of 5. So that will be our second step. And for our units, moles of NH3 will cancel because it's on top and bottom. And we're at moles of F2, which we want to get rid of in the last step and turn into what we really want, which is mass or grams of F2. So we need the molar mass of F2 which shouldn't be too bad because it's just two times the molar mass of fluorine. So two times the molar mass of F, which is gonna be two times, looking at the periodic table, 19.00 grams per mole. So from this, we should get that the molar mass of F2 is 38.00 grams per mole. And that we will use in the third conversion factor this time with one mole on the bottom and 38.00 grams on top. Moles of F2 will cancel and we'll be left with exactly what we want, which is grams of F2. So now let's do the math and see how much grams of F2 we'll end up with. So we're going to do 66.6 times the top of each fraction divided by the bottom. 
So for our first fraction, multiplying by one, is it gonna change it? So we're just gonna do divided by the bottom, which is 17.04. Second conversion factor is five over two, so we're gonna multiply by five, and then divide by two. And then third conversion factor, we're just gonna times by 38. Multiply by 38.00. Hit equals and our calculator says 371.30 and some numbers. Let's round that to just 371. Okay, now for our second problem. Part B says how many grams of NH3 are required to produce 4.65 grams of HF. So we were given 4.65 grams of HF, which is one of our products. And we want to use that mass to calculate, okay, how many grams of NH3 do we need to make that much HF? So we're going to be doing another mass to mass stoichiometry problem starting with 4.65 five grams of HF multiplying by three conversion factors to get so many grams of NH3. Okay, so first part, we wanna get rid of grams of HF. So we need the molar mass of HF, which relates moles of HF to grams. So we need to do another molar mass calculation where we're just gonna multiply one H times one F, one hydrogen times one fluorine. So hydrogen is 1.01 again. And we're gonna add fluorine, which we also already used is 19.00. And we get a molar mass of 20. 0 0.01 grams per mole. And that will go into our first conversion factor, one mole on top and 20.01 grams on the bottom. And that cancels out grams of HF. So now we have moles of HF, which we want to convert to moles of NH3. So we need our coefficients, our mole ratios again. So the coefficient of HF is six. And the coefficient of NH3 is two. And at this point, moles of HF cancels. And then third step, let's take our moles of NH3 and convert that to grams of NH3. So we need the molar mass of NH3. We already calculated that. It was 17.04 grams for one mole. Our units cancel, and now we can do the math here. Okay, so in your calculator, we will start with 4.65. We're gonna divide by 20.01. We will then multiply by two, divide by six, and lastly multiply by 17.04. Hit equals, and we get 1.31994003. Let's round that to 1.32. So 1.32. Two for our final answer there. Okay, on to the last part. Looking at part C, how many grams of N2F4 can be produced from 225 grams of F2? So now we have 225 grams of F2, and we wanna know how much N2F4 would that produce if all 225 grams would react? So one more time, we're gonna start with 225 grams of F2. We are going to multiply by three conversion factors. And we are looking for the mass of N2F4. 
So first step, again, we gotta get rid of our mass, and that is of F2, and we wanna convert to moles of the same thing. So we need the molar mass of F2. We already calculated that, it was 38.00 grams per mole. So one mole on top, 38.00 grams on the bottom. Units cancel. Okay, next step is going to be our mole ratios, where so many moles of F2 will convert to moles of N2F4. So we need our mole ratios. The coefficient of F2 is five, and the coefficient of N2F4 is an implied one which we normally don't write, but we need to put that in our conversion factor down here. And then our units of moles of F2 will cancel. And then the last step, we can take our moles of N2F4 and convert to grams of N2F4 using the molar mass of N2F4, which we have not calculated yet. So let's do that, N2F4. Okay, that's gonna be two times the molar mass of nitrogen, which is 14.01 grams per mole, plus four times the molar mass of fluorine, which is still 19.00 grams per mole. So if we calculate that out, we should get a molar mass of 104.02 grams per mole for N2F4. So we will have one mole on the bottom and we will have 104.02 grams of N2F4 on top. Moles will cancel and we can do the math for our final problem. So starting with 225, we are going to divide by 38.00. We are going to then divide by five and then multiply by 104.02. Hit equals. And our calculator says 123 and some change. Let's just round that to 120. Three. Okay, so final answers for part A. If you have 66.6 grams of NH3, how many grams of F2 would we get? It would be right around 371. For part B, how many grams of NH3 are required to produce 4.65 grams of HF? That would be 1.32 grams. And part C, how many grams of N2F4 can be produced from 225 grams of F2? That would be 123. All right, if you wanna see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.